ピーコちゃん、ピーコちゃん、プレゼントとエグザミネーションルーム。It's our turn. Oh no, I'm doomed. ピーコ、be strong! This is ピーコちゃんの medicine. Take this medicine twice daily, one in the morning and evening. I see, thank you. I don't want bitter medicine. Don't be difficult about this. Welcome back. How was it? It seems that a Pico has caught a cold. I got some medicine from the hospital. This one. Great. It's not serious, right? Yes. I feel relieved for now. Pico, are you okay? Do you feel bad? I think I was looked down on at the hospital. What do you mean? Do you remember what happened at the hospital? Did something happen? I have absolutely no idea. The receptionist called me Pico chan. So? Ah, I got it. Pico's name is a girl, but you're actually a boy. So you wanted her to call you. Pico-kun, right? That can be helped. When birds are babies, it's difficult to tell whether they are male or female. For many years, I raised Pico thinking you were a girl. No! You are missing that point. What point? I'm a patient. For the hospital, I am a customer. I think They should call me Pico Sama, just like humans. So, you are a type of customer that complains a lot, huh? But look at this. The medicine you received from the hospital has Pico Sama written on it. I can't accept that. To begin with, honorific titles in Japanese are very complex. There are many other words such as San, Kun, Chan, and Sama. I don't know what to call that person. I don't even know if it's better to use their last name or their first name, as it is a case by case situation. You are right. Makes sense. Well, okay, let's talk about honorifics today. I'll use a fictional character to explain honorific titles. Using a pet's name as an example is difficult to understand. Yes, let's call this person Kenji Watanabe. It's a common name. In the Japanese textbook, the honorific title is introduced as san. Right. So, is it Watanabe san or Kenji san? If the relationship is formal, such as a business relationship, Or if their relationship is not so imitate and mostly professional, it is normal to call the other person by their last name like Watanabe san. If your relationship with the other person is personal rather than work related, given name plus san like Kenji san is okay. Especially if the person is older than you. It is better to call them by their given name followed by San. By the way, I have an acquaintance who got married at work. They originally called each other by their family name plus San. And now? Even now, they still call each other by their family name plus San because they may happen to let go of their old habits. Huh? That's weird. Even though they are a couple, they seem distant. I think so too. It seems like they don't know when to change how to call each other. So when they call out to their partner, they say like, hey, and boy, instead of the person's name. Hmm, it's awkward. Next is kun and chan. There are five points to talk about. 1. Kun is often added to boys, and Chan is often added for girls. 
too. Both kun and chan are often used for children. 3. Although kun or chan can be added to the surname, it is generally added to the first name. 4. Chan can be used by both adult men and women. It has a cute impression, so it is especially used to express a feeling of closeness and fondness. 5. In manga, for a while back, when bosses called their subordinates, they used to call both men and women by their surname plus kun. So, Kenji Watanabe is called Watanabe-kun or Kenji-kun because he is a man? Yes, if you were to express your friendliness to him, you should say Nabe-chan or Ken-chan using a nickname. Watanabe is a very common surname among Japanese people, so I think there are quite a few people around the country who are called Nabe-chan. Wait a minute. So, being called Piko-chan back at the hospital was... It's a very natural thing to say when calling something like pets or something cute. It has so. Well, I'm the cutest barricade in the world. So, it makes sense. I got called Hamachan too. Why are you two competing with each other now? Next is Sama. There are two points here. One, when calling customers or clients, we often use their last name plus Sama. Two, Sama is used more often in writing than in spoken communication. Come to think of it, Pico Sama was written on the back of my prescription. That must be also because it was in writing. Sama is also often used when writing a business email. In other words, it is rarely used among friends or acquaintances, right? It is rarely used in everyday conversation. However, when writing New Year's cards or letters, it is considered good manners to add Sama to the name of the person, no matter how close you are to them, like Watanabe Kenji-sama. I see. Today, I'd also like to introduce the honorific Dono. Even more than Sama, it is an honorific title that is only used in writing. So what is the difference between Sama and Dono? Sama is used to express respect regardless of rank or gender. Dono originally meant a person from a noble family Perhaps that's why it has an old-fashioned impression. Basically, it is not used by customers or for customers. This kanji is associated with men, so it is not often used for women. So when should you use it? It is sometimes used to address business documents. Also, dono is often used in hourly certificates. My graduation certificate also has Dono added after my name. It has an old-fashioned and solemn image, so if you call your friends by adding Dono to their name, they might be amused. Hamutaro Dono. Pinko Dono. It's funny how the cute impression of you two and the sound of Dono don't match at all. Ah, this is a consultation card from the dentist I often go to. Here too, there is Dono at the end of my name. By the way, do you address the person you are talking to as Anata? Uh, such cases are very rare, although Anata is sometimes written in Japanese textbooks. It is seldom used in everyday conversation. I've explained more about the second person pronouns another time. What should I do when I call out to someone whose name I don't know? It also needs a lot of explanation, so I'll explain it another time. I see. If she explains it, the video will be long, so I guess she doesn't want to do it now.
Maybe it's just a hassle to explain to. I can hear you now. Anyway, there are many scenes in textbooks where people call each other by their given name plus song, right? But in reality, that doesn't happen often. Calling someone by their given name means that you have a close relationship, or they must be younger than you. Everyone I work with calls me by my last name plus son or job title. The only people who call me by my given name are my close friends, fellow English learners, and some of my relatives. So, why are you always calling us by our given names? That's because we have a very close relationship, right? Of course. Well, because you guys are my pets. I'd prefer a more respectful term. Today, we studied about honorifics, so call us with honorific title. Okay. Pico-sama, would you like some apples? Do you need a refill of sunflower seeds for Hamutaro Dono? Hmm, I don't like how distant we are. Call me Pretty Hamachan. Such difficult points.